Hello Mark, here I am on a Sunday afternoon doing a video as requested by you of the new setup for my Clark MIG welder which is the new 20 litre 200 bar um, gas cylinder of Argon 5 which is a mixture of 93% Argon, 5% CO2 and 2% oxygen which is meant to be a perfect mi mix for MIG welding of steel. Thin steel, that is. Um, so that's the bottle, as I say, 20 litres, 200 bar. And then on top of that, I've got my regulator, which is has got twin gauges. One showing the pressure in the bottle, which is nearly 200 bar. And the other one shows you the pressure coming out going to your MIG welder. This was 30, 37 quid I think and has all the required fittings that you need. Um, that is a male 5 8 BSP thread which screws into the bottle which I've put a bit of um, plumber's tape on to give it a proper seal and then the outlet is a 3 8 so I'm reading this off my phone is a 3 8 BSP thread to attach your gas adapter hose to which then goes down to the little push fit fitting and then takes my little 4 mil are they? I think they're 4 mil 4 mil pipe that goes into the back of my welder and you don't have to buy one this long. This is the one that I opted for, which came with the regulator, but I also had bought one earlier, which then I thought perhaps might be a bit small, but that's the push fit connection. It's the same as your, um, your cheap regulators that you get. He says, I don't know where I've put mine. Mm. There we go. We just say same as your cheap regulator that goes on your little hobby bottles. Just got that little push fit connection there. Um, and that's it really. I mean, I don't know whether you want to know anything else. As I say, I'll, I'll put in a picture of the exact regulator that I bought. To say that was about 37 quid. I think the bottle of gas came out to 130 quid, 135 quid, something like that. And to get it refilled, I think it's 60 quid. But as I say, that's 20 litres and it's under 200 bar of pressure. Um, I used it for a, an upgrade on my, um, what are we calling this? center stand dolly which is in another video <laughs> but i used it on that and if i'd have been using the small hobby bottles i would have gone through at least one and a half if not two on that and i've not really got any it didn't actually come with 200 bar of pressure it's it's a, about 190 i suppose um depending on how accurate this actual gauge is but it's so much easier to use because what I found with the hobby bottles is I had to completely unscrew the regulator. Now, whether it was because the regulator is such a cheap piece of crap or whether it was because the valves in the top of the hobby bottles are crap, um, I always used to have to take it all apart or else when I came back to it, I used to find that all my gas had escaped and there were still occasions when it seemed like I'd left half a bottle on it and... Um, then found I had no gas when I came back so this is something I should have done ages ago and as I say that's 60 quid to fill up once you've got over the initial cost that's 60 quid to fill up which those hobby bottles are like 16 quid a bottle I think the cheapest I found was about 15 quid so if I get four lots out of that that's my 60 quid 
and as I say, to to do the upgrade on that, that would have cost me at least one and a half, if not two, um, bottles of the hobby gas. You'll see that in another video. If <laughs> it's not the most amount of welding going, but I know with the hobby bottles, they, they just disappear so quickly, and this setup really should over time save me money and just the fact that you're not mid weld running out of gas and then spending another 10 15 minutes swapping over to another bottle um, to finish your weld you can just do that continuous weld i've still got a couple of hobby bottles hidden away so if this one if the big bottle runs out um i've still got a bit of a backup before i need to get it filled up but ultimately it should it should be a lot better to work with than the hobby bottles i just got to learn how to weld it's all i need just to learn how to weld but there you go that's on my mig uh 145 my clark weld mig 145 turbo but there you go there's my setup as requested one video with my 20 litre Argon 5 gas bottle. Any questions, buddy? Let us know. No problem. Have a good one. Catch you later. Ta-ra.